Hello and welcome to a video for the Advantis Mix Lab and LSP. That is a partner mix. I believe we're mixing the song Celebration. And um, what's different about this Mix Lab is because there's going to be two people. We want to make both sides of the console to have the same layers so both of you can kind of dive in and out of processing and work together. Um, this assumes you've already set up a console before, but I'm going to kind of review some of the basics of setting up the console as we go. So far, I've actually set up and drug down all of the inputs to channels for the left side of the console. And we want to make it so the right side of the console is duplicate. And so layer A here is sort of the first 12 channels of the mix. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Layer A, select layer A, go to setup, make sure you're under control, strip assign. And all you got to do, and if you remember, there's a block select, you can grab 12 inputs here, because this is, oops, I messed that up. 12 inputs, and I can grab those 12 inputs down and fill up that whole strip. If you want to erase an input, it's easy. You just pull it out. If you want to replace it, you can bring down one by itself. So that's pretty easy, and you can navigate here whether you're working on bank A, the, the left bank or the right bank, and what layer you're on. So it's pretty simple, and I think you've already done that in other mix labs. And with that in mind, what you want in the end is the two sides of the console to be the same. So layer A here is the first 12 inputs on both sides. If I go to layer B on both sides, I've already done it here, you've got the next 12 channels going up to 24 on your second layer. Layer C, I put in 12 more or 8 more blank channels. So the song only has about 25 inputs, so uh, you only need a few spare here. I didn't put anything at all on layer D. I left it blank. And then layer E, I set up on this side of the console, I set up DCAs and the stereo bus. And it looks like I forgot DCAs over here. And you, again, you've done this setup before. You go to setup, you're going to pick what you want. We want DCAs here. You say DCAs, we grab our eight DCAs, either one at a time or do a block select here. I'll do two through eight and I'll drag them down. And earlier, grabbed the mix stereo bus and dragged it down to the 12th channel. So these two mirror each other. And then F here is the last layer. I just happen to put eight effect, uh, six effects sends and fix six effects returns. If you need more effects in this on your mix, you could split this across multiple layers. You have, up, I believe, up to eight effects in and eight effects out. So anyway, you should, because you've done a couple of mixes on this console, know how to set this up. I'm just saying, and if you don't follow this exactly, I'm cool with that, as long as when I sit down to grade your mix, I can navigate and find things. But you just want to make it the same, and on the Cashman Show, this is what we do. We make both sides of the console relatively the same, so myself and you as the student can work together and share the console. Other things to remember before I exit here, hey, don't forget to input patch as well. You go to I.O., and I've already done it in this situation, but we want to do inputs. So we're on the Inputs tab there. We're coming from IO port 1. That's the MADI. And you want to make sure MADI... Oop, I didn't mean to cl click that. You want to hit the Patch button, and you're going to patch MADI in 1 to the first input, which happens to be the kick drum. And Anyway, you're going to want a nice long diagonal line there. And, of course, if you do one side, it will do the other because they're the same input. So you're going to have to patch your input. You're also going to need to patch your outputs to go off to record, and you're going to watch patch your PAFL so you can monitor... So what uh, for for uh, there's another video for the record. I'm not going to show that here now. But at least with the PAFL, the PAFL is going to go to the local outputs. It needs to be an output local PAFL, and you're going to want to pet patch. And I believe you already know how to do this from previous videos. But you're going to make PAFL left and right go out of local outputs left and one and two. That feeds the central station and the monitoring path. So that makes it so when you solo something, the PAFL button, it's going to go to the it's going to go to the speakers. Also, that also makes it so the stereo bus goes to the speakers. So this video kind of incorporates some stuff from other videos that you've already seen and experience you already have. The only new stuff is can you set up the layers to be duplicate? Okay? Great. Thank you.